Hello, good morning folks, this is Steve here. Um, first, I'd like to wish everybody a happy Christmas. Um, it's been very hard to shoot videos here because the weather's absolutely crap at the moment and the lighting's really, really bad. Uh, as you may have gathered, I'm not in uh, where I live, I'm down south again. Um, I'm here over the Christmas. And uh, yesterday I fitted in a little dig. Um, wasn't much, but I thought I'd show what I got. And um, I just I let a couple off because it's quite common. But I did get some nice stuff. And um, <clears throat> it's all CDs, no vinyl. And uh, yeah, uh, let's go. Uh, the first one is this band, Helmet. Um, bought this from a charity shop for 90 pence. Don't know much about the band, except this was their fourth album and somebody left to join Biohazard, I've heard of that band um, but a couple of members left and it was sort of about, I've heard a bit of it and what I've heard sounds alright but if I don't like it you know what happens to them but uh, as I say it's sort of like me blind by um, if you like and that's the track listing there, I don't know much about the band um, I've just done some research online so that's helped me a bit but that's all I know, but if anybody has come across this band, or if you do like this band, please put your comments below, I'll be, I'll be grateful to hear. Another blind buy was from Sweden, and that's this band. Again, it was extremely cheap. This wasn't a charity shop buy, and this band is called Hardcore Superstar. And I believe these are still going, they're from uh, Gothenburg, Sweden, I believe and uh, it's, it's classed as grunge metal or whatever you want to call it but I've heard a couple of tracks off here and what I've heard is not bad um, again I need your comments below folks I've never heard of them before but uh, I've picked it up before in the record store and wondered whether to buy it or not but uh, if anybody has a take on them please leave your comments below um, somebody I have heard of before and I was quite chuffed to pick this one up uh, in fact, I was chuffed to bits, Scott. And that's this one, Rainbow. And that's Long Live Rock and Roll. I've got it on vinyl. It was only a couple of quid. And I've, I've got it now on CD. Anything with Ronnie James Dio is going in my collection. That's the track listing. But it's just an amazing record. Uh, always pick this one up, folks. Um, the next one was a bit unorthodox for me. Um, if it hadn't been live, I wouldn't have touched it with a barge pole. Um, plus the fact it was cheap. So all that, I've, I've got a David Barrier, like greatest hits CDs. And I've also got the first, I think three did like the Spiders and Mars trip. Um, but this one's got like a bit of it, you know, all over his career. And um, it's at the tower, at the tower in Philadelphia. Again, it was very, very cheap to purchase. Um, it's a it's a two CD, -er, and I can't get the thing the booklet out to show you, so I'll have to leave it here. Hid. But hang on a second, folks. Yeah, it's come out. Um, oh, it's it has at the moment. There's the booklet anyway. Um, oh, got some nice pictures. Uh, don't know what year. Um, 1974, I believe. Um, yeah, I think it's 1974. So that's a bonus. I didn't really. I thought it was later than that. Well, I've got myself a little bonus. Um, but I thought it was a lot later than that, judging by the, some of the songs on there. But I, you know, we live to be corrected. So I'm even more chuffed with that CD than I was chuffed before, Scott. Um, anyway, the next one is a fella, um, I can't pronounce his name, but that's him, Ewenguli Malmsteen collection. I presume that's the greatest hits of his. Um, again, it's got all those tracks at the back. Didn't cost a lot, and that's why I picked it up. And also, I didn't realise that the case is broken as well. That'll have to be recased when I get home. But, uh, yeah, just picked that one up for a couple of quid. Another CD I picked up for a couple of quid. Uh, was this one by Molly Hatchet? Got uh, this one on vinyl, I believe. This is called Flirting with Disaster. Another great band. Um, always pick these up. Yeah, you can't go wrong with a bit of Molly Hatchet. I think it was Scott Waters put me onto this band. Um, I've heard them quite a lot. They're really, really good. And that's the back of it there. And uh, yeah, that's it. 
But the next one is one, I'm, I'm, obviously I know who Ozzy Osbourne is, but I've never ever seen this CD before, and it was cheap. And basically you've got, it's that CD there, and it's a strange opener because you press a little catch down, and what you get for your money um, is two, a two in one. On one side you've got the CD, and on the other side you've got the DVD, okay? And uh, it's, it's weird because you got all the stuff here um, you get Ozzy Osbourne on my mobile phone which I don't really want um, you can imagine him going Sharon on your mobile can't you it looks like I can't get this booklet out but uh, what it basically is folks you've got a lot of I think there must have been cover versions or b-sides because they're all other people's music um, you've got a Sympathy for the Devil, which is obviously Rolling Stones. You've got some working class hero, that was John Lennon. And you've got all the, I reckon there must have been B-sides or cover versions he did. You've got Woman, uh, John Lennon. And on the um, DVD side, apparently you've got 30 minutes of Ozzy talking about his life and all this stuff. But I've never ever seen it before. Maybe someone in the BC's come across it, so maybe, you know, it's just something I personally have never seen. And, uh, again, it wasn't very expensive, so I thought I'd add it to the collection. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's one of those strange ones. But I must admit, I've never seen one where you've got, like, the DVD player on uh, one side and the CD on the other side. Uh, normally, they come to get, you know, sort of separate. But also it's got one of these posh little catches. And uh, yeah, it's just a great little pickup. Um, but it won't be so, so cheap. I sort of don't go out of my way to work for Aussie stuff. Um, but because uh, it, it was cheap, I bought it. But uh, we're coming to the good stuff now. Um, this was another one I bought. If you like blues rock, is this one, Joe Bonamassa. This another guy I've heard a lot about. This is a live album, Greg. You'll love this one. Hammer Smith Apollo, or the Hammy as we call it, if you're a local. And it's called Tour de Force. And I like what he did with the Black Country Communion. And uh, I've seen him on TV a few times. And uh, this was a cheap buy. It wasn't very expensive. Um, so I thought I'd check it out. But again, it's a uh, one. It's a two CD pack. pack. Um, you've got a lot of stuff, um, like all, all the advertising stuff, encouraging me to buy uh, more stuff. You've got another, I might be much luck with booklets today. Um, you've got another little bit of booklet action, and uh, it's just a great little pickup. But there he is, there. But uh, if you like blues rock, this will be right up your street. I quite, I quite enjoy it. I was listening to a Rory Gallagher album the other night, and it's one of these albums, it was so good, where you had to keep playing it over and over. I must have played it about three times. But it's just a nice little pickup, especially what I paid for it. Uh, but uh, I hope you're getting all your mince pies cooked and ready for the big day. Um, it's coming towards Christmas soon, and I personally do not like it. It's absolutely packed in the shops at the moment and um, it's just terrible you're sort of queuing for hours I sort of just want to hibernate and let the whole thing go you know go without me and I'll catch the bus and get in 2009 and get them you know 19 and get the board life but uh, no nah, Christmas is not my time of year but final pick up I could have seen this band live a couple of years ago because they were performing just down the road but they're still going but this is a local band to me and this is the Hawkwind box set and uh, basically you get, to, it's from their Charisma years, 1976 to 1979. And you get, I think, four albums or four in a box. It's really a decent little box set. Um, you sort of get that. And um, I love a bit of Hawkwind, really good. Um, oh, you get a nice little booklet with it as well. And you're getting these sort of things. Didn't pay an awful lot for it. But it's a lot cheaper than buying the vinyl. Because if anybody knows about Hawkwind vinyl, it's not cheap, especially the early stuff. And you have to buy the best Zoffel stuff like that. But that's what I got. And, um, yeah, it's just a great little pickup. But, uh, yeah. And uh, what else do you get? 
Oh, you get a little poster with it as well. And uh, I think they were from Leek in Staffordshire. I know they were somewhere from, in, I'm sure it was Leek or somebody in Staffordshire. Cause that's how Lemmy from Oteheg, he was from Stoke-on-Trent. He was from Burslem. And they're all from the same sort of area or something. That's how the story, that's how uh, Lemmy hooked up to them, I think. I may be wrong. But I know they're from, uh, definitely from Staffordshire. But that's what you get with it. But it's not a bad little pickup actually, especially you know for a ten pound note. That's sort of my most expensive one. I'm going to fold all these up later. I'm sorry about this, but uh, yeah. So that's my my little um, few pickups. Nothing sort of really mind blowingly exciting, um, but uh, this time of year to me is just uh, uh, I'm not a fan of it at all. But uh, I like to wish everybody a happy Christmas and uh, I'll get back in the new year and that's when I'll do my best probably a couple of videos on um, best of last year I might but I've got a couple of projects lined up so stay tuned and um, I have got a couple of next videos planned it's just when I can shoot them um, I might shoot another one before Christmas I don't know yet but if I don't but, uh, thanks for subbing to this channel and thanks for all the I think it's 9,800 viewers of Adult Summit Stupid I, when I started out, I thought if I get 50 subs, I'll be happy. But uh, I'd like to thank everybody who's watched this channel last year. And uh, I'd like to wish you a happy new, Chris happy new Christmas. Happy Christmas and a peaceful new year, folks. And uh, peace out. And uh, take care. See ya. Bye. I'm just trying to work out how to switch this off.